Hey everyone, it's Chris with Plumometry, and this is video four in my temperature and humidity series. In this video, I'm gonna focus on the collision of the cue ball with the object ball and how it affects things like deflection and throw. First up is a test of a rolling cue ball deflection angle. In this test, we're shooting from diamond one on the end rail with a half ball hit through a ball on the center spot. Now, if this happens normally, it should scratch in the corner pocket. But I'm curious, will that be consistent from climate to climate? As you can see, it was fairly easy to pocket the ball in the corner every time. Second, I wanted to test collision-induced throw. That is, when you cut an object ball, you actually throw the ball offline. But I'm curious, over a distance, does the amount of throw change from climate to climate? So I have a test shot here set up. I've got the object ball at diamond two, one and one one here and I'm going to shoot the cue ball a half ball hit into this object ball and if I do it right it should pocket in that corner something like this But again, my curiosity is if the climates have an impact on whether that goes in or not or has some sort of play in that trajectory For a second time, I found it very easy to make this shot in all four conditions, so I came to sort of feel like any sort of slight trajectory change that had to do again with my imprecision in terms of the shot rather than the heat or humidity, it just didn't seem to matter. A little harder to test, but something I also wanted to know was spin-induced throw. My goal here in the same setup as the last shot is to shoot straight into at least my alignment into diamond one. So I'm shooting sort of parallel to the rail. But I'm really loading up on left hand English. And I'm curious, I know that spin induced throw is going to throw the object ball offline. But I'm curious over the course of a table, will the different climates change how much the ball is thrown? Looks something like this. As you can see, the spin-induced throw for each of the four climates was fairly consistent at sending the object ball offline by about one ball width over the course of the three-fourths of a table that it actually traveled. And I'm finding this consistent so far for the collision of the balls, whether it be throw or deflection or here you have spin-induced throw, I'm finding that temperature and humidity don't have a big effect on the result. Finally, I attempted a push shot on a cue ball that was frozen to an object ball. It looked something like this, shooting at a 45 degree angle, pushing the ball out. I was curious, where did this ball end up on the end rail? Here you see hot and dry travel from about three quarter diamonds to one and a quarter for about half diamond a throw. Cold and dry has a very similar result, about a half diamond a travel. Cold and wet travels a little further, but I wouldn't read too much into this. Hot and wet also traveled about to the one and a quarter diamond marker. This push shot produced the least consistent results with a 
margin of error around a quarter diamond in either direction. Of all the shots, this is the one I wish I spent more time on. And I think temp and humidity were not a significant factor, but I'm not as confident in that conclusion as I am with the other shots. Overall, while my tests here on collision of the cue ball and the object ball turned out a bit anticlimactic, I am still somewhat surprised at the result. I've always heard that if a set of pool balls were dirty, the way they collided, the friction they produced was different than if they had been cleaned or if they were brand new. While I didn't test the cleanliness of the balls here, I am fairly convinced that throw and deflection are not really affected by heat and humidity and not something we need to account for in terms of the table conditions or the climate. I also have a hunch that the advice that the friction on the balls is different for a clean set and a dirty set might be a bit of myth, but that's something to test for another day.